Hello to all of our viewers and listeners. This is Michael, Music Director of the LOV Verbum Day Ministry. This will be a rather short message to let you all know if you have not received the email our man management team has sent on Saturday 21st of August that the daily LOV podcast will stop for two weeks from the 30th of August until the 12th of September. During these two weeks, only the Daily Gospel and its commentary will be sent by emails. If you have not subscribed to our mailing list, please use the link in the description. Accompanying the Daily Gospel and the commentary, there will be some questions and prayers at the end of each Gospel reading to enable everyone to reflect on what is God telling me through this scripture passage. The homilies and reflections on the Sunday's Gospel from Father Richard and Father Francis will continue to be released on Sundays as usual. It's only the LOV podcast that stops. Now the management team is very excited to announce a new series of four episodes on the Word of God. Two episodes of 20 minutes each will be released on Tuesdays and Fridays each week for all of us to immerse in a unique way into the Gospel. The meditation will be led by one of our podcast readers, Regan from Bristol in the UK. The series has been designed to slowly and attentively sink into the Word of God that lies behind the words of the Scriptures. We will be looking at particular passages ranging from the wedding at Cana, the calling of the Apostles, the coming of the storm and the Sermon on the Mount. The episodes will be released on our YouTube channel and do also on the following audio platforms. Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcast, Breaker, Pocket Casts and Radio Public. Simply search for LOV Verbum Day and you can access all our resources. Please share it with whoever you think might benefit from it. These two weeks will be an opportunity to not only read the Word of God, but also to deepen our relationship with the Lord as He speaks to us and renews us through His Word every day. Now to each and every one of you viewers and listeners, the management team wishes a beautiful and holy continuation of the summer period. Please pray for us as we pray for you all. Thank you for your prayers, faithfulness, generosity, and remember that it is when we pray together that we are stronger. See you in two weeks. God bless you all. This is the Daily Love Podcast. Elovi, Legere, Orare, Vivere. To read, to pray, to live the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening. This is Ignatius on behalf of the Lexio Divinity, bringing you the Daily Love Podcast. Let us keep on exploring the word of God, praying with and for one another, as it is when we pray together that we are stronger. Today is Thursday of the 21st week in ordinary time. We keep on walking with the Lord in this ordinary time which represents the order life of the church. The period in which Christ, the Lamb of God, walks among us and transforms us in our lives. Come, let us adore the Lord, brothers and sisters, for He is our God. It is by exploring the word of Christ that we load ourselves in him, deepen our relationship with him, and see his presence in our life. Dear brothers and sisters, let's all begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the spirit of truth who comes from the Holy God enlighten our minds and lead us all to the truth as your Son promised us. Amen. Today, we are in the Gospel according to Matthew, and we read chapter 24, verses 42 and 44. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, because you do not know the day when your master is coming. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what time of the night the burglar would come, he, could, he would have stayed awake and would not have allowed anyone 
to break through the wall of his house. Therefore, you too must stand ready because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. So, just a few things to nourish our reflection on these verses. Let's be honest and clear. This world is not our permanent home. It was never meant to be our lasting home. Never. We are here just for a short stay on the way to God. Yet what we do each day is important. We cannot deny it. God has praised us in our specific in our specific family, parish, friends, workplace, school, country, as his faithful servants with hearts set on him alone and to concentrate and to consistently carry out our responsibilities as Catholic parent, friend, spouse, child, worker, and citizen. Like the faithful servant in the parable today, we too can feed our household, our parish, our community, and our society with God's love, which is the best food of all. When we strive to live with integrity, we are also helping others to also live their commitment to God faithfully each day. Now, there can be moments when we feel the temptation to backslide in living our Christian faith faithfully and live a rather superficial lifestyle of pursuing temporal things that the materialistic world offers us. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten our minds and be wise and see that the temporal things offer us immediate gratification and nothing else. Yes, what will bring us happiness here, now and forever, is by choosing to live as God's faithful servants and by seeking to save God at every moment of every day. So, just a question for us to meditate on today. If today would be our last day, would we do what we do today? We keep on praying for all of you listeners and for the prayer intentions of our love family family composed of 284 members. We also dedicate our prayers to all the intentions that our ministry receives through our prayer request form. You can find the link in the description. These intentions can be anonymous or you can add your name if you or people you are praying for want to be mentioned. Remember that the Lexio Divina Prayer Group gathering on Wednesday evening prays for all those intentions. Let us now pray for an anonymous intention submitted as For my relationship with Zari, as there are a lot of temptations and mistrust. O oh Lord, lead our ways. I pray for my job, my family, and my daughter and ask the Lord to guide me through this. Amen. O oh Lord, we come before you with this particular intention and implore you to fulfill this intention in accordance with your divine will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We now pray for our three communities, Osmo Dari, St. Teresa's Church, Living Water, and for our clergy and religious, for Lobat 
and he is proceeding towards ordination as deacon and for all seminarians in the Christian diocese that they, may, that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For Morgan, who has entered the Mary or Morning Star Order as a novice with a deep peace of mind and heart, thanks be to God. For Father Andrew, Nam's brother, who was ordained in March this year. For Father Richard, Sister Sujata, and the volunteers of the St. Nicholas of Torrentino's Food Bank, and all the people in great need in these difficult times. The SVD priest, Father John OCD, Father Francis, Father Valens, Father Lupet, Father Adam, and Father Lali, including our Bishop Dickering in Clifton Diocese and our Holy Father, Pope Francis. I pray for Lord's grace that he may help me to proceed my studies at Mzuzu University and I also pray for peace and love in my family. Now let us pause for a few seconds and present all the intentions we have in our hearts to the Lord. We now conclude this time together by bringing all these intentions towards our merciful mother Mary so that she may intercede for us to her beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, Hello Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us. God bless you all and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and to follow us on Instagram. LOV Verbum Dei Ministry hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query or you want to send us your prayer intentions, use our email address which is lov l dot o dot v underscore verbum d v e r b u m d e i at outlook dot com thank you